Hello all and welcome back. In the previous video, I explained the difference between sheets and worksheets. We not only understood how to retrieve the count of the sheets and the worksheets, but we also saw how to reference them in three distinct ways. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a sheet or a worksheet using VBA code. I will also show you one main difference between the sheets.add and the worksheets.add method. So roll up your sleeves because you will be practicing it with me. I'm already in the VBA editor. If you're unsure what VBA editor is, then I highly recommend that you watch VBA editor and introduction. Let's insert a module. We will now first add a worksheet. To add a worksheet, you can either use sheets.add or the worksheets.add method. So what's the difference between them? Sheets.add and worksheets.add methods are used to add a new worksheet to a workbook, but they have a slight difference. So sheets.add method adds a new sheet to the workbook regardless of its type. When I say type, I'm talking about whether it's a worksheet, chart sheet, or any other type of sheets. This method is more general and versatile. Worksheets.add, on the other hand, specifically adds a new worksheet to the workbook. It's more focused and ensures that only worksheets are added. Having said that, the Microsoft knowledge base is incorrect when it says that you can add a chart type using worksheets.add method. You can't. You can, however, add a worksheet and macro sheets. To add a chart, you will have to use the sheets.add method. I'm going to demonstrate that in a short while. Let's start with the worksheet.add method. The syntax is expressions.add and then we have four arguments before, after, count and type. Expression is a variable that represents a worksheet object. The before argument is an optional argument. It is an object that specifies the sheet before which the new sheet is added. After is also an optional argument. It is an object that specifies the sheet after which the new sheet is added. If before and after arguments are omitted, the new sheet is inserted before the active sheet. The count argument is also optional. It is the number of sheets to be added. If you do not specify this, only one worksheet will be added. So the default value is one. Finally, we have the type argument. This specifies the sheet type. If you do not specify a type, then a worksheet is added. Let's go ahead and let's try to add a worksheet. I'm going to type a procedure. Let's call that procedure add worksheet. Now let's add the worksheet. As I mentioned earlier, if both before and the after arguments are omitted, the new sheet is inserted before the active sheet. So I'm not going to specify that. Let's go to Excel. So sheet one is my active sheet. So if I run that command, the new sheet will be added before sheet one. Let's check it. To run this procedure, ensure your cursor is inside this particular procedure. And then you click on the run sub user form button, or you can also press the shortcut key F5. So let's go ahead and click on it. I can see in the project explorer that the worksheet has been added. Let's go to Excel and let's check it. The new worksheet, which is sheet two is added before sheet one. Let's go back. Let's add a worksheet now using the before argument. So I will press space and then I will type before colon equal to sheet one. Here, sheet one is the code name of sheet one. I've already explained about the code name in my previous video. So if you have not watched that, I would recommend watching that first. 
If you do not want to use the code name, you can also use the worksheets and then the worksheet name like this. Let's go ahead and let's run this code. If you go to Excel, you will notice that the new worksheet is added before sheet one. You can also use the sheet code name. And it will give you the same result. So if you go back now, a new sheet has been added before sheet one. OK, I have a question for you. What if I want to add the worksheet at the very beginning? How do I do that? If you wish, you can pause this video and give it a thought. No, the answer is not using sheet two in the before argument. The reason why we are not going to use sheet two is because tomorrow, if the user adds any other worksheet before sheet two, then the reference will be incorrect. The sheet will be added before sheet two but it may not be at the beginning of the worksheet. So go ahead, pause this video and think about it. The answer is that you will use the sheet index number. I have also spoken about this in the previous video. In such a scenario, we will not use the code name of the sheet name or the name of the worksheet as I explained a moment ago. So let's go back. Here we will type this workbook dot sheets one. It doesn't matter which sheet is that. Whichever sheet is there, the new worksheet will be added before that. Let's test it. If you go back, you will see sheet five has been added before sheet two. Moving on to the next argument, which is after. If you need to add a worksheet after a specific sheet, then you can use this argument. For example, after sheet one. What this code will do is it will add a worksheet after sheet one. Let's test it. There you go. It added a worksheet after sheet one. Just like we added a worksheet at the beginning using the worksheet index number, you can also add a worksheet at the end. Let's go ahead and let's test that as well. Now, what do you think should come here? When I wanted to add at the beginning, it was very easy. All I had to do was hard code the value of one. But if I want to add a worksheet in the end, then what do I do? Currently, there are six sheets. I can use that number as a hard coded value. But what if a user adds or deletes a worksheet? If you wish, you can pause the video and again take a moment to think. If you saw the last video, I demonstrated how to get the count of sheets in a workbook. We can get the count of the sheets using sheets.count method. And that is what we are going to use here. So let's use that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to declare a variable which will hold the total count of the sheets in this workbook. Let's call it total sheets. Total sheets is equal to this workbook dot sheets dot count. OK, and then I'm going to use this here. But how do I use that? I will type this workbook dot sheets. So what do I use here? This workbook dot sheets total sheets and we are done. So total sheets will have six because there are total six sheets in this workbook and that I'm going to use here. So I'm not hard coding the value like I did for the before argument. Let's go ahead and let's run this. If you go to the Excel, 
you will see a sheet has been added after sheet 6. If I go back and if I run it again, a new sheet will be added after sheet 7. Let's check it out. So this time again, like I said, total sheets is not hard coded. So when I run this, the sheet will be added after sheet 7. Let's test it. If you go back, you will see a new sheet has been added after sheet 7. The next parameter that we will work with is count. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, that the count argument is the number of sheets to be added. If you do not specify this, by default only one sheet will be added, as we have been seeing every time we run this procedure. So let's go ahead and let's quickly test this count argument. Let's say I want to add two sheets after sheet 8. So I will type comma and then I will type count is equal to 2. Let's go ahead and let's run this. And you will see that two sheets have been added after sheet 8. The last parameter is type. There are five sheet type constants. Excel worksheet, Excel chart, Excel Excel 4 macro sheet, Excel Excel 4 Intel macro sheet and Excel dialog sheet. I also mentioned that as per MSDN knowledge base, you can add all these four types of sheets. That is not true. You cannot add Excel chart. You can add Excel worksheet, you can add Excel Excel 4 macro sheet, and you can also add Excel Excel 4 Intel macro sheet. But you cannot add Excel chart. Let me demonstrate that. I'm going to delete the rest of the stuff. I'm going to delete this as well. And I'm going to type the argument, which is type is equal to if I specify the type as Excel worksheet and if I run this, it works because if you go to the Excel file, you will see sheet 11 has been added. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all these sheets. We don't need them right now. They're taking too much space. I'm going to delete these as well. Perfect. Let's go back. So if you run this, okay, let's run this again. So if I run this, you will see a sheet has been added. Now see what happens when I type Excel chart here. Let's run this and we get an error. So you cannot add a chart sheet using worksheets.add method. If you want to add a chart sheet, you will have to use the sheets.add method. We will talk about sheets.add in a moment. You can replace Excel chart with Excel Excel 4 macro sheet or even Excel Excel 4 Intel macro sheet and the code will work. I hardly use these macro sheets. These are part of the XLM macro language. It's included just for backward compatibility to versions up to Excel 4. I doubt you'll be using macro sheets. Now let's come to the sheets.add method. That syntax for sheets.add method is the same as worksheets.add method. So I'm not going to get into every argument. I will, however, demonstrate how to add a chart using sheets.add method. If you remember, a couple of minutes ago, we tried adding a chart using worksheets.add and it failed. Now let's go ahead and let's try it with sheets.add. I'm going to delete this and rest remains as it is. Let's go ahead, let's run this. And there you go. We can see that the chart sheet has been added. If you go to Excel, you will see the chart sheet has been added before sheet 12. I prefer using sheets.add over worksheets.add because of three main reasons. First, they both have the same syntax. Second, if you omit the argument type, then both will add a worksheet by default. And the third, writing or rather typing sheets is much more faster than typing worksheets. So yeah, these are the three main reasons why I prefer using sheets.add over worksheets.add. So I hope you have understood how to add a worksheet or a sheet using the VBA code. If you have any questions regarding this video, then feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Or you can also email me on support at damexcel.com. If you like the way I explain things and if you think I can 
and let's say help you with your quest to learn visual basic programming from scratch then go ahead and subscribe to this channel the main benefit of subscribing to this channel is you will instantly get an alert when i release my video next i would also like to inform you that there's a playlist you can learn at your own pace i have arranged topics in a specific sequence in that playlist so if you're serious about learning visual basic programming from scratch using high quality videos and that too for free then go ahead and watch that playlist and i'll see you soon when we work more with sheets and worksheets in our next video